Hi, welcome to the SYNC 3-Wire Smart Switch Installation Guide. This video will show you how to install SYNC and C by GE smart switches on a three-way circuit, or in other words, a switch that shares control of a light with another switch. Our three-wire smart switches do not require a neutral wire, so older homes with less modern wiring setups can have smart control of their lights. If your home does have a neutral wire, we recommend installing our four-wire smart switch. Note, all switches on this circuit must be a SYNC or C by GE smart switch. The smart switch will only work with other SYNC or C by GE smart switches on the same circuit. Before we begin, we ask that you please proceed with caution. Follow each step carefully. If you have any concerns with handling wiring, hire a qualified electrician for the installation. All right, here's what your home needs to install the smart switch. A wired switch outlet that includes a ground wire that's typically green or copper. You need a Wi-Fi connection. And if you're using SYNC or C by GE smart bulbs, non-dimmable LED bulbs, or you're on a circuit with less than 15 total watts across the bulb, you'll need to install the bulb adapter for the switches to function. In the smart switch package, you'll find one switch, one faceplate cover and bracket, four wire nuts, one bulb adapter, two Phillips mounting screws, two Phillips faceplate screws, three wire labels, and one installation guide. You'll also need a voltage tester, a Phillips screwdriver, and about 60 minutes of your time to install and set up both switches. Finally, you may want needle nose pliers. Ready? Let's get started. Step one, before you do anything else, turn off the power for the location of the switches at the circuit breaker box and test the switches to make sure no lights come on. Now let's remove the old switches. First, take off the face plates. Next, test the wires with a voltage tester to ensure the power is off. If multiple switches are on the same box, test them as well. Additional breakers may need to be turned off. You can never be too careful. Then remove the screws holding the switches in place and pull the switches out of the wall. Before you disconnect any wires, make sure your wiring matches the wiring of these diagrams. It's a good idea to take a picture of your wiring for future reference. Now, for the following few steps, we ask you to proceed with caution. While the switches are pulled out of the wall, restore power at the box. Next, use your voltage tester to carefully check the wires connected to the black screws on both switches. These wires may both be black, or they may be black and red. The wire that has voltage is the line wire, making that the line side box. The wire that does not have voltage is your load wire, making that the load side box. Wires connected to the brass or copper screws are the traveler wires. After you've removed the switches from the wall and restored power to check which wire has voltage, you may see a light come on when the breaker is turned back on. In this case, both line and load wires will have voltage, and you may have to carefully flip one of the switches so the light is off for this next step. Now before you do anything else, turn the power back off at the box. Then label each wire coming from the wall box. The line and load connections to the switches will be interchangeable. So match the black line slash load label to the line wire, the other black label to the load wire, and the green ground label to the ground wire. Remember, if you don't have a ground wire, the smart switch is not compatible. And if you do have a neutral wire, which is normally white in the wall box. You can still install the switch. However, we recommend installing our four wire smart switch. After the wires are labeled, disconnect and remove the old switches. Let's start with the line side. Remember, this is the side that had voltage when tested. Connect the line wire and one of the traveler wires from the wall to the black line wire on the SYNC or C by GE smart switch. By putting them in the wire nut, turning it clockwise, and gently pulling on a wire to test the connection. In this example, the line wire is connected to the red traveler. Connect the second remaining traveler wire from the wall to the remaining black wire on the smart switch. For our example, we'll use the black traveler. Connect the ground wire from the wall to the green ground wire on the SYNC or C by GE smart switch. Next, let's move to the load side. Remember, this is the side that did not test positive for voltage. Connect the load wire from the wall and the same traveler that we connected to the load on the first switch 
to the black wire on this switch. Connect the same traveler you connected to the line on the first switch to one of the black wires on the smart switch. So the line wire is now connected to the black traveler. Finally, connect the ground wire from the wall to the green wire on the smart switch. Next, push the wires into the wall box. Then secure your switch using a Phillips screwdriver and the longer screws provided, making sure it's level and flush with the wall. Screw on the faceplate bracket with the smaller screws and snap on the cover. Once everything is secure, turn the power back on at the breaker box. The light on your switches will flash blue, indicating the devices are wired correctly and in setup mode, which will last for 10 minutes. If setup mode times out, press the on-off button and hold for 10 seconds to restart them. Once the switches are added to the sync app, the lights will stop flashing. If the lights are not flashing blue, visit sync support GELighting.com for troubleshooting tips. Finally, if you're using SYNC or C by GE smart bulbs, non-dimmable LED bulbs, or you're on a circuit with less than 15 total watts across the bulbs, you'll need to install the bulb adapter for the switches to function. Simply twist the bulb adapter onto the base of the bulb, then screw it into the fixture and you're done. Only one bulb adapter is needed per switch circuit. If your bulb adapter is not compatible with your bulb type or fixture, you'll need to install our fixture adapter, which must be wired into your wall wherever both your neutral and switch leg wires are present. Visit syncsupport.gelighting.com or call customer service for details. To enable your three-way smart control, you must pair the switches to the sync app and assign the switches to the same app room. Thank you for making the switch to smarter lighting. Enjoy.